pretty much all of the nurses here at Mount Sinai know what the Baby Friendly Initiative is. Now that we're you know, actually implementing BFI, it's time to uh, make sure everybody's on board. The great aim of education is not, not, not just knowledge, but action. Step two with Baby Friendly is educating um, healthcare providers. Um, and this is such an essential step because when, when moms run into challenges with breastfeeding or have questions, that's often the first place that they go. Our staff has actually been fantastic about getting engaged in the education. They're really eager to learn more about what's going on. And interestingly, we even see them eager to participate in those new things that they have learned in the course when they're out in their practice setting. I think education is a cornerstone for the nurses. If they don't have the skills and the basic level of knowledge, then anything else we do won't matter. Um, I think we owe it to our patients, actually, to have that skill and knowledge base with our nurses practitioners in particular, we ensure that they have the 20-hour breastfeeding course. And that, that gets them ready with a, a baseline of, of support um, that they can offer families. And the way that we practice is a team practice. So, so it's a physician paired with a nurse practitioner and, and the NPs are the ones moms are seeing first. So we, our focus is getting them really prepared to support families. The Sinai Care course is one thing we also have pursued over the years. We have mandatory e-learning um, every year for the nurses, and we, we have been very active in creating e-learning modules. We've made uh, breastfeeding and baby-friendly a part of orientations, um, not just to nursing orientation within the program, but to nursing orientation within the hospital. We provide and want to protect, support breastfeeding. So in order to um, make that successful and be able to um, see that through and be able to carry that on, um, we need to have everybody on board. Alicia and I run the, the newborn support program, so we're the experts, but all of our nurses have to have training because they are the ones that are seeing our, our moms during well baby visits and, um, you know, they're the ones doing the weight checks and they might be the ones that say, how's breastfeeding going? So all of our staff need to have basic training. Well, we do frequent in-services uh, every six months and with new hires. There's a, um, a great link to an orientation for this program and for BFI on, on our website. We've created kind of a course that's about 45 minutes long with some, some really quality select videos that providers are watching um, that can help them with some of those things that you just can't read and learn about. So something like hand expression or um, helping a mom get a get a get a good latch. In a big organization here at Mount, like Mount Sinai, where you have over 500 nurses and staff, you almost have to revisit everything at least every six to 12 months. I think that the biggest thing that engaged our physicians was to say that, you know what, we can work around your schedule. We can do different ways of learning. And some were really excited to participate and were like, sign me up, take me to the 20 hour course because they like the hands-on and they like that learning style. And others really appreciated the online module or the self-directed package. And so I think it's so important that you acknowledge the relationship and the different levels of learning and then choose the right kind of opportunity for people. There isn't gonna be a one size fits all. So make Making sure that we find the right fit is really key. Some of our most vocal resistors to doing that three-day training were won over by the excellent instruction. And then we're actually actively interested. And then I've noticed since have, have actively put into practice what they've learned. I've had people um, who whose work is is not not with with moms um, who have helped a mom in the waiting room who didn't seem like she was comfortable breastfeeding there. And then they just asked, you know, smiled and encouraged her, but also said, if you need a private space, we can, we can find one for you. There's so much I learned just from uh, taking the BFI uh, course and, and then taking it forward. I used the public health um, post-birth appointment where I worked with public health nurses um, experienced with breastfeeding and they did tell me the same information. And one of the really cool things actually was I had actually called telehealth on Boxing Day with questions regarding breastfeeding. She gave me the same information that the lactation consultants gave me. 
we all need to be on board with this so that we're all providing the same message um, with the same level of comfort to um, families and moms of newborn babies so that we can all support that mom in her breastfeeding journey.